Okay. Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some blast, my friends. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create. Uh, good. Hello, hello, hello. I am uh, going to do a demo on a red, making red tubing from scratch, of course. You know me. I like to scratch it all the way around. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, if not, I will uh, edit some sound in later. How's that sound? First of all, I'll uh, pull this stuff. I don't want them there. Off. Of course, I've got to blow a hose. That makes it a little bit better for me to that a reaching and blowing and heat and blow and heat and blow, all I have to do is heat and blow at the same time. Swivel blow hose is a very nice thing to have in your repertoire of even simple tools. So that you can blow some hollow glass really nicely. I am going to make up some uh, Red tubing, and I couldn't tell you the color it is, but it is the North Star Red. Um, because I just got a whole big case last week of North Star uh, shorts, five pound bag of short colors, I decided to start using them. The only thing, the only problem with the five pump bag of shorts is you don't know the exact color name. Now you can find a whole bunch of neat things in there though. This time around I've got some Illuminati and some Lucy, which are both flashlight reactors, which is pretty cool. And what I'm doing is basically the fold and pull up and over, sealing it onto itself. And I'm only going to make this about, well, let's see, I'll make it about uh, an inch or so. I'm going to do two or three of these pieces of red tubing. I've got a lobster build to make, I guess you could say. And then a lobster build, it requires red glass for the red lobster. Yay! I'm not going to go through all of that today. A little bit of tubing. I'm using both the uh, 10 liter per minute and the 5 liter per minute uh, oxygen concentrators this time around. I want to get as much heat and glass melting as I, as I can at one time. It does the job anyway. You know, I'm not going to make this very long. I'll uh, end up making several pieces of this tubing anyway, so I'm going to make this about, well it's going on about a half inch to three quarters of an inch long, so that's where I'm going to call it quick. About an inch. Okay? Okay, okay. It's been some crazy days in the last little while, but I'm trying to get my life back in order. Sit down at the torch is one of them. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to seal this up. To evenly blow it around and stretch it out a little bit and layer some clear glass on top of it. Try to put the tubing on this twice, it's popped off already, but we'll do it both. Oh, yeah, there's a few air bubbles in there at this point. On the, well, not air bubbles, but where I just sort of layered it in and it's not exactly a good seal. But what you do is you just sort of 
speed a little bit and push pull just slightly. Just slightly. That helps to seal it. Another way that you can do this type of tubing is go ahead and get like a 6 mil or a 9 mil heavy well of medium wall tubing and layer the colored right over the top of it. Matter of fact, I will, that will be the next demo that I do. I found out where the biggest hole was, was where I sealed it. I didn't seal it so well at the top. Okay, right now I'm going to heat and blow a little bit. Right now, the, the wall inside here is very irregular. But sort of sucking and blowing. Just a little bit. Helps uh, draw the, the tubing to the right size. And yes, if you haven't noticed, there is no red color to this. One of these is this type of glass is called, uh, it has a striking temperature. It's clear, you know, it, you saw it was the red when I first started. Then you heat it up and it turns clear. But then as you get to a certain temperature later on after you heat it up again, it'll turn red. Again. Matter of fact, there's a little bit of red going on right now at the end of this. Okay, now, I'll use this. No, I'm not saying, I'm going to not say I did. Uh, I keep it long enough. Good, clear rod. I don't know whether it's shot or Cymax, but it'll do the job. I just need to layer this color it's clear all over it. Here we go. As you can see, the red color is already coming back into it a little bit at the tip. And it might stay and then it might not. It's okay. Because we got a lot of work, I got a lot of work to do on this yet to, to make it into the tubing for the lobster. They have two different color reds going on here. The bottom pattern, the bottom half is doing one type of thing, and the top, with the top red that I just sealed on there, is doing a totally different deal. And one red is one thing, and one red is another. That'll turn out interesting. If not, I'll put on the same red and do it up. But what I'm doing now is heating up this rod that's in my right hand and melting and layering it onto the tubing that I just did a little while ago. And you're heating up just the rod. You're sort of warming the tubing, but you're actually feeling or heating and just drawing. It's like a pencil. You're drawing that glass onto the tubing at this point. You're not trying to heat up this tube at all. You're just trying to keep it warm. Yeah. Yeah. Just blow all of in. And of course, the uh, the stopper pull out again. Optimal glass heat going on in my torch right now.
Try and apply it. Too busy concentrating. But we're getting there. Almost done. And then I'll... Yeah, you can see that the top half is definitely different than the bottom half. That's okay. Now, if the walling, wall tubing is, is uh, sort of different sizes and stuff, sometimes you just lift it, like so. It layers it in a little better. And this again, you got to make sure that you're blowing out and cleaning up the wall as you go. If that helps, if you swirl it, somehow it evens out the wall. separate those two pieces of color away from each other. Just because. I'm blowing in this gently and I'm pushing it slightly. like the box. You can see up there near the top, it's a nice, getting to a nice red color. Down at the bottom, it's a little bit different. Uh, I couldn't tell you what the actual color is, but it, would, it should start turning to a color. Sometimes you just take it out. going on and then all of a sudden it will probably start I hope this is mostly on view I, I hadn't really checked the camera I to see for what's going on yeah that other one the red just came right out in it and this one as you strike a color in the oven It'll come out even the way it works. It should anyway. Well, that one tubing down, and you can see that, that, that it's two different types of red, and you can see a, uh, an interesting red, rusty red down here. And uh, up here, nice, almost a blood red. With that, thank you for watching. 
and enjoy your day.